Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 904. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 901 to 904, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have a little data set and we have groups. And on a different sheet, we need to extract first and last name in a single column. Now, this is trick 901 back in 904. In 901, we saw how to do a lookup and return two items from two separate cells to the same cell. Here we're going to use that trick, but the fact that we have to look up the number one and their duplicates, as soon as you get to that situation, you either have to add an extra helper column or do an array formula. Now in this one, we're going to do an array formula. All right, so we have our groups. Let's count how many group how many people are in each group using the count if. The range I have to click over on sheet 904. You can see the sheet reference enter there. And I'm going to highlight this column. F4 key to lock it. And then you can see up in the formula bar the criteria. I'm going to type in uh, A4, relative cell reference, because that's where the criteria is on that other sheet. Control Enter. If I F2, you can see it got it correct. So I copy this over. And I can see the E column is uh, has the numbers, right? All right, now here, we're going to create our array formula here. We're going to have to go back and forth between these sheets. <coughs> and use the index function. Now, the index function will help us here. Um, we're going to have an array of values to return. And we need to have first and last names together. And then because there's duplicate number ones, we're going to have to build a construction for row numbers. So as we copy the formula down, we'll know to take the right rows. All right, so I'm going to click over on this sheet. The values we want to return to the cells. Well, first we need our first name. So I highlight that. You can see that up there in the formula bar. And I'm going to hit the F4 key. And I'm going to type the join symbol, ampersand, shift 7. And I need a space, so double quote, space, double quote ampersand, you can see it emerge up here. And finally, the last names, F4. Now, that's joining two columns. But if you highlight this and hit the F9 key, and in 2007 to 10, we can pull this down. You can see it, in fact, has created a single column from two. We have Joe Smith, Joe Jones, Chin Ho. Control Z. We don't want to keep that hard coded in there. All right, that's the array comma, the row number. Well, we have multiple row numbers. We are going to use the small function. We're going to build in the small array all of the row numbers we need. Now, remember, the number one occurs in, uh, if I suspend this formula for just a moment with a space at the beginning, uh, one is going to need, so when we're in group one, we need to somehow tell the index function, hey, go to row 1, go to row 3, and go to row 4. So because we have multiple row numbers, we use the small. The small will allow us to access the different row numbers as we copy our formula down. But we need to isolate which row number. So I say if, I come back over here, anything in this range, F4 is equal to, and now I need to come back over here. And this is going to be a hassle, because notice when I come back over here, it shows me uh, the name of this. And I don't want that. I'm going to highlight this and hit this. It still is going to put it in. But I need to very carefully think about that A4. As I copy the formula over this way, I need it to move to 2 and then group 3. But as I copy it down, I need it locked. So I'm going to hit the F4 key twice, lock the row reference, but not the column. There's our logical test. Well, if that isolates, what are we trying to put into index? We need row numbers. So I'm going to say, if anything's there, please give me the row numbers. Click over on sheet here, on sheet uh, 904. Highlight the range, hit F4, close parentheses. Now that'll give me row 2 to 10, so I minus row of the first, F4. That gives me 2 minus 2 is 0. That's not what I want, so I have to add one back in. All right, now, value of true. I do not need the false, so I close that off. And that little thing is what gets dumped into the small. 
if I come back over here, that's okay. If I come back over here and highlight just the if part of this and hit the F9, you can see what got dumped into small is 134, exactly what we want. Control Z, comma, the K just means, hey, as we copy it down, we need the first, second, third. So I'll use my number incrementer, rows. I'm in A5, A dollar sign 5, colon A5. That'll increment to number 1, 2, 3 as we copy down. Perfect. All right, so small will deliver the row numbers as we copy down. There it is, close parentheses. And this is an array formula. This if right here, uh, we have an array operation. So we have to control shift and enter. When we control shift enter, we tell Excel this is an array formula. The curly brackets are is Excel telling you it understood it's an array formula. I copy it down and over. All right, and so it looks like it's working. It's extracting the names for each group. We want to not show this num error. So I amend this and I say if, and I already have my rows. I'm going to cheat and come and copy this. As I go down, I want the if logical test to say, hey, you're counting 1, 2, 3 as I go down. Anytime that's greater than this, and I need to lock that 1, 2 row reference, but not column. If that logical test comes out true, what do I want? Double quote. Show nothing. Otherwise, run the whole formula. Control Shift Enter. Double click and send it down and over. And so now what's so nice about this is if we come over here, and if something changes, let's say we're going to put SUREG Coolinator into 3. Now SUREG Coolinator is over here. All right, and one last thing. We did this uh, formula to work in 2003, or any version, right? If you want to uh, look here on this sheet for 2010, we can use if error that came in in 2007 and aggregate as a substitute for small which came in in 2010. This formula does not require control shift enter. Now what's so cool about this formula is aggregate does the small bit and you don't have to use the if and that array operation because aggregate is doing an array operation here. It just doesn't require control shift enter. In addition, the array argument and index, this is an array operation Jo using join symbol operation on arrays, but this argument doesn't require control shift enter, so I can just enter it and copy it down. All right, we'll see you next trick.